resident all my life. My parents have been in the historic district for more than six decades. I created a company called Karasi Development last year, and out of you, because I wanted to be a part of the development within the city of Detroit. So I'm not going to take a lot of time. I'm going to introduce my partner, who I sought after, uh, after seeing what they did with the Bell Building. We all drive down the Lodge, Open Boulevard, and that $50 million project to create something within the Boston Edison Historic District. So I'll let Ray Johnson, who is my partner, speak. And then we'll show our video. I won't need the mic. But as you said, I'm Dr. Ray Johnson. We've had long history in that particular area of Boston Edison. Our proposed site is on the site of the 67 rebuilding. My dad, sh I shine shoes. My dad's barber shop on Linwood and Hazelwood, then Linwood and Burlington. My great grandparents had a house on Boston Boulevard. We still <laughs> own property in that particular area. What is very interesting, when she contacted me, and I hadn't heard from her in 25 years because I had founded several schools. Paul Robeson Academy is one of those, helped put together Bates Academy, and my company created schools around the country. And as it turns out, I had mentored her nephews, who all went through University of Michigan, all four of those that she raised. And she gave me a call and said, I have this concept of doing something that's historic, something that is out of this community. Not a development from New York, not a development company from anywhere else, but coming out of this community. Her family lived there for six decades. My family and our folks have been there for five decades. And so it is the Karasi. Karasi is key it means wisdom and life. Won't take any more time talking. But the project is a mixed-use project that will inherit, not only stand on the historical roots and the legacy of all those who live there, but to respect the sanctity and the sacred ground of that area. Prior to the 67 rebellion, and begin to tell that story and build on historical roots. It will have the mixed use, it will have integrated health, it will have the spa and yoga, it will have the green spaces, and it will have a cultural center that's going to legacy the history of all of those who've been there. So this is going to give you just a little short video, and we'll be around to answer any other questions uh, that you may have about this development project. also known as 12th Street, in the Boston, Edison, and Atkinson Historic District. We will rebuild and revive the spirit of community that encompasses the Karate means wisdom in life. We have belief in the human bond and uniting communities. We are a grassroots organization that's rooted in the community. We are a steward and a trustee of the Historic District and its surrounding communities. We have a willingness and a passion to build on a legacy that being a stakeholder in this community provides. We do this not just with our words, but our actions. We are excited about our collaborative partners, supporters, and community stakeholders that are willing to preserve our history and celebrate our triumphs. We intend to create a business district on Rosa Parks Boulevard, also known as 12th Street in the Boston, Edison, and Atkinson Historic District. We will rebuild and revive the spirit of community that encompasses the ability to live, work, shop, entertain, and thrive within the historic district and surrounding communities. This development is of high priority because it is expansive and inclusive, which is paramount in raising the city. This is the center of rebirth and possibilities, rich in history, culture, 